In today's video, I want to see if green tip can actually penetrate steel better than a standard FMJ load like we all know it claims to be able to do. To answer this question, I'll be shooting each of these bullet types at mild steel plates ranging from a quarter inch all the way up to one inch. And we'll see which bullet type is actually the best at penetrating. The first setup we'll be using today is this 18 inch barrel. But if that doesn't give us the desired results, then we'll step it all the way up to this full length 24 inch barrel. That should really maximize the velocity, which should equate to better penetration. So how's about we get our testing started with a quarter inch plate? Hang on there, what's actually inside of a green tip that makes it penetrate so good? Let's find out. Well, there's definitely some room for improvement in terms of the cut, but I think we'll still be able to get the point across. If you can see here, there's a little faint line, and that line is a division of metals. So the top half is going to be a steel insert, and then the bottom half is going to be the lead core. We all know that steel is harder than lead, so theoretically, if both of these bullets were traveling at the same speed, we would expect the green tip to penetrate further into the steel. But, because the 55 grain FMJ is lighter, it's traveling at a higher speed, so let's see which one of these actually wins in the testing. If neither a green tip or an FMJ can penetrate this steel plate, then we're going to have a really short video, so let's hope that they both penetrate the quarter inch steel plate. Shooting steel can be really dangerous, so don't try this at home. Well, the first green tip was a little bit off target. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just making excuses at this point, but the scope was not sighted in for 50 yards. But anyways, the second green tip was good to go, and it went straight through, as did the FMJ, the 55 grain FMJ. Now let's step it up to that 3 8 inch plate. Well, it looks like the green tip did exactly what it was supposed to do. It squeaked right on through. Although it looks like it was just the tip pretty much, because that's a pretty small diameter hole. And you're not going to believe this, but the FMJ did not go through. I can't believe that. That extra velocity and everything, you would think that it would go right on through. Well guys, let's put that FMJ in the 24 inch barrel and see if that yields any different results. I think it might. If you find this testing useful so far, I'd sure appreciate if you snipe that like button. I'd also recommend that you go and check out my website, link in the description below. You're not going to believe this, because I sure didn't, but we got essentially the exact same dimple on the back of the plate. That means that neither one of those FMJs went through, even with the 24 inch barrel. That crater is pretty substantial though. Well guys, those results kind of shocked me. I thought for sure that that 55 grain FMJ was going to go straight through that 3 8 inch plate, but unfortunately it didn't. I will admit though that that would be a pretty short video if we just stopped there. So let's go ahead and see what the limits of this green tip are in terms of penetration. We'll move up to the half inch plate next. Well, it looks like the green tip met its match at a half inch because there's a nice little bulge back here, which means that it did not go through. However, the penetration looks like it's pretty good, and that's just out of an 18 inch barrel. Let's go back to the bench and see if that 24 inch barrel will give us any different results. Well, looks like I was off a little. Back to the bench. Guys, I knew I wasn't that bad of a shot. It looks like that 1 in 12 twist is not enough to stabilize a bullet, because look at that. It was keyholing. That means that it was not accurate at all, really. And I'm surprised that I even hit the target. So unfortunately, we're not going to be able to see if that extra velocity would have actually ended up in more penetration. But let's go back to the bench and see just how deep that last shot penetrated. Let's see just how deep we got with my handy dandy calipers. Looks like we got right under a half inch. But some of that can be attributed to this spalding that sticks up quite a bit. So it's not quite as deep as it says right here. Still though, that's quite a bit of penetration. Way more than I thought it was going to be at least. 
I thought for sure that the extra velocity of that FMJ was going to make it go deeper into the steel than the green tip, but I've been proven wrong before, and this was definitely one of those times. With the little amount of energy that the 556 actually puts out, I was really surprised at how deep the green tip actually penetrated into those mild steel plates. Now I know why it's so effective. Although this was just mild steel, from what I've seen, hardened steel like body armor is a different story. If you want to see more testing like this, let me know in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching, and remember, don't let ballistics drive you bananas.